All right, it's now 7.16 and uh, today we have one, two, oh, and three dots over here. And uh, what I'll do, we'll just go over as to what we have set up actually. Let me switch. Okay, so we are using Shimano Telora and Okoma White Diamond and again another Shimano Telora. These rods are actually made for what? Deep sea diving. Uh, deep sea diving but we are using with our uh, downrigger system, uh, the Canon Magnum. And over here we have Telora as well. This is actually made for uh, the downrigger system. And we are improvising with a Shimona, uh, Shimano Convergence 10 feet rod uh, with, uh, with the downrigger. So what we have in all of them, uh, we have a flasher and uh, with uh, three of the baits we have uh, uh, flies. We are using flies and for the other one we are using a uh, spoon. Now with this one, uh, we are using actually lead core. So this has lead inside the thread which has its own weight so actually as, as you let more line go the weight of the line takes the bait down so how it works is that we have a flasher which connects to the towards the line and this is the side that goes actually behind so in the water basically how it will look is that you will connect your rod to the flasher over here and then another leader will go out and then these are the flies that we use okay and there are multiple colors whatever works some days uh, you have to improvise and as for spoon these are the spoons that we are using and we kind of switch in between from uh, time to time and see which color which pattern works and they basically imitate like bait fish in the water so usually the uh, the going info is that in a cloudy day golden colors are good and in a bright day uh, silver colors are good but then again you need to find out what works uh, better in each day and there are many types of pleasure for example we already have five flashers down there in the water and these are the other three we have in our stock and now we are just waiting with patience to see what works and what doesn't until then bye we are preparing to throw one of the line and we are using uh, this is the Shimano Tolora so what we have there is the flasher and then the fly so we are at the depth of 115 feet so roughly we are going to put it at uh, what 90 feet 100 km, 115 90, yeah. yeah so what we are doing is that you are using one downrigger but with an extra clip in one downrigger we are going to use two rods and uh, at least uh, with a difference of about uh, 30 feet between the first rod and the second rod and the idea is that at least from the boat uh, we will uh, throw it away about like 20 to 30 feet and also to keep in mind is that uh, to make sure as much as uh, less noise of the boat and the motor uh, goes to the ground because uh, the fishes tend to move away from the boat when it is moving and as you can see it's uh, very choppy today And that's how we are using the clip. What happens with the clip is that when the fish is on, uh, we use a jerk and uh, it untangles from the clip. And the rod is free and the fish is free uh, to tackle with it. 
so because we are going uh, using two rods uh, at uh, 90 and another with a 30 feet difference so we will uh, throw it down 30 feet first and then add the second rod and then go all the way to 90 feet and here's the counter so it is already at 30 feet good enough now going for the second rod you will notice we are rigging the flasher. I just the kiddie baba. It's fly and, uh, Let's use a spoon because so, we have fly at the bottom and we are going to use it. So we are trying to use a spoon uh, into depth. Let's use this one. Or we never tried this one. You okay, yeah. This one? Let's yes, try that's a new one. So oh, there's a new one? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. That's a UV, so at night it should be good. Okay, so how, how is it looking? Okay, so that's how it looks. <coughs> so we have the flasher and then the spoon. So we are going to attach it with the clip, with this clip to the downrigger. But before that, we have to make sure that it is at least farther away from the one already at the bottom. Because because of the flasher, there are some uh, fridges uh, at the back. What it does is ba basically in the under the water, it spins, and it takes roughly about five to ten feet of circumference. So therefore, uh, there must be a reasonable gap between the first rod and the and the next one. So we are using the clip so that there is enough room for it to slide as well as to hold on to that uh, distance of 30 feet and that's the clip we are going to tie it uh, to the line. It will hold it in its place but at the same time when we try to pull it, it will get free so that we can handle with the fish. All right, enough gap. Now this is our uh, Shimano Convergence uh, improvised rod. It's ideally for carp and channel cat fishing, but it's strong enough uh, to actually tackle. And uh, as for the reel, we are using a bait runner. Shimano, uh, which Shimano bait runner is this? Uh, it's a Shimano bait runner, that's it. Yeah, uh, 6,000 series. It has a good uh, drag uh, control of uh, about uh, 25 pounds. So now we are putting it to 90 feet. To recap, uh, the Shimano Alora is at 90 feet and this one is at about 30 feet difference, so roughly around 60 feet. And after that, we have to create a tension, so it is bent, as you can see, as if there is a fish there, actually it is not. So what happens when the fish bites, you will see rapid thumping at the tip, and that's when we have to go and uh, set the hook for the fish. So it's important to create the right tension. Okay, this is already rigged uh, with a flasher and a green silver fly. So because over here we are at 90 and uh, 60 feet, we will also try to keep a difference over here so that these two underground does not uh, get tangled uh, because they will be within quite proximity. So ideally it's better to have a 20 feet gap between each of them. So at this moment we are at 117. So what we'll do is that we'll try to stay around 70 and uh, on the second rod around uh, 40 feet. That way with four rods we are covering four different heights or four different depths. The same formula applies over here, two rods in the same downrigger. 
that's the second clip we're looking at. The bottom clip is actually with the weight at the down, at the bottom. And uh, this particular weight is 12 pound. And over here, we are using what? 10 pound, right? Feels like? So over here, it's 10 pound. So the weight is important because uh, if it is not uh, weighty enough because of the current when you're trolling at four kilometer or three kilometers per hour, even though you have put it at 90 feet, it will be actually floating a little bit more. So your depth will be actually less than 90 feet. So 12 pound uh, for us at the trolling speed uh, actually kind of stays at the exact depth that we are putting it in. It has just an amount of time to get the rod and 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 the Okay, Dan, so we are going to put it at the 30 foot difference uh, with this particular rod uh, so it will put it uh, around uh, 70 30 around like 40 feet again um, it needs to be further away preferably from the first rod and also further away from the rod so that less noise and vibration goes from the boat uh, to the line Okay, so this is a flasher. So what happens because of these uh, crudges, um, it actually spins. It spins uh, under the water and that also actually... And it mimics the bait. Uh, it's, uh, it also spins the spoon, which uh, mimics the bait fish uh, under the water. And that makes uh, the artificial bait interesting and more alluring to the salmon to bite. And we are adding the second clip at a 30 feet difference. And that clip is for the line. So the first clip is to make sure it uh, stays in its place with the downrigger. Now we are going at uh, what? 70 feet? No, no. 70. This one is 90. Yeah, 70. Can I hold this rod. So, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. Cut it up. See that one. See when you pull it up. Yeah. So this is at 90. Yeah, 70. Now it's time to create the tension. This rod is actually made for the cam rigger, and this is actually for a gypsy diver. But uh, we are using gypsy diver, so we are yeah. going this way. So, if you notice, look at the tension. So we are trying to adjust. The, the gap between the two rods and the angle as well. Okay, so we changed the place uh, of the two rods. So the first rod, the second rod, sorry, that's the first rod, this is the second rod. And this one actually is the place where we're going to put uh, our fifth line. Uh, the fifth rod is actually uh, filled up uh, with uh, lead core. And the lead core line is heavy by itself, so we are going to throw out around like 350 feet with a 
single spoon and uh, the weight of the line ev uh, eventually will uh, take it down uh, in the water so we are letting it go for about 350 feet and that will take it uh, roughly at the depth of at the depth of what about 100 feet uh, 90 feet or something like yeah. that because uh, it's quite choppy today and there is also current <coughs> <clears throat> the weight of the line itself will actually uh, take it down and the rod that we're using is a Shimano Talova. So we are almost set and now it's time to troll and wait for the fish to bite. Currently we are at 123 feet, going around 3 to 4 kilometers per hour. <laughs> and uh, the way we are navigating, we are actually using uh, a Minn Kota power drive... Uh, what is it called? <laughs> what did call it? Trolling motor. Trolling motor. <laughs> so the trolling motor that we are using, actually it's a uh, set uh, auto... automated uh, with the direction. Um, when it's set in the direction, it uh, actually makes sure that it is going in the same direction that we have set at it at the speed so our motor is also on it is uh, set at uh, low rpm trolling speed and the uh, minkota uh, trolling motor is uh, is getting used uh, for in navigation in combination or else if we didn't have that we would have to actually manually control the boat which is quite cumbersome all right 